Mrs. Ward? Yes? What have you got to say for yourself about the state? I would say it's a working lorry and it's been worked in very hard. Off this. That's my bed. She's going to expect me to go and sleep with her. No, I had to put it up because I had to. Mm -hmm. I'm having the electrics fixed. Hopefully tomorrow. Rubbish. Filth everywhere. Filth. This is going to be our home. Going to tidy it up right now. I'm on my way up to my next door neighbours, Jill Mason's, to um, jump her show jump. She's got a course of show jumps in her field, and I thought it'd be good practice before Osberton to have a go around the jumps, pop them up a little bit. Hopefully, Super Grim's coming to help me put the fences up. We did a tug of war. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win, Brody or Super Brody. Groom? <laughs> I'm not letting go. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yay. Right, here we are at having a little practice jump before going to Osberton at the weekend. She's been told to keep a steady, what did he say? Forward arm contact. Is that what he said? I used to go three, two, one, up. Very nice. Oh, that, was that, that was a big one. We're going up north again. You got to think what? Again, I forgot to film. Must check the red button. Where are you going? She's going to the double, but she doesn't. Can we have them off? Please. Please. Press. Go. Red lights on. <coughs> Here we go. I think they're now 110. Calculated by my leg length of 36, which Justine says is. That we're hoping that my tummy bottom is one meter ten. She thinks the show jumping there is one ten, although it's a one oh five course. I don't know. I'm just Oh no! Let's open that double up to 11 strides because it was a bit tight before. Oh, don't knock that, that's one of those solid metal things. What are you wearing today, dear? I'm wearing my nose, I'll leave that hair. Whee! Um, I like the jodhpurs. I like the khaki green jodhpurs.
Good boy! Very good, no problems. Oh, we had good show jumping practice, and now having a little canter on the edge of the field, one handed, which is very difficult. But I can do quick. So, I'm just about to score Brody. Um, I hope it goes well because he's been an Bit of a kit to duck up, haven't you, Brody? Yes. He, he wants to go out in the field. He's not going out in the field today. Um, he's got two more to ride. Brody's going to hopefully ride for my test. I'm having a lesson with Trish Gardner tomorrow. Um, so, um, ahead of our next competition at Osberton next week, three day event. So, that's very exciting. Hopefully, he will go well. And he's dressed less than twice. So um, this lesson with Trish, we did a lot of work on our leg yield and shoulder in. Um, there's leg yield in the test for Osberton. Um, so we started working on that, but we quickly progressed to other things. So <clears throat> I mean, we ended up working on walk to canter and canter to walk um, and doing some travel. But at the moment we're working on some leg yield. Trish is very fierce. Um, if it's not good, you have to stop immediately, which is good. That's a correct way of doing it. Um, but yes, yeah, she can be quite punchy. Um, but she's a very, very, very good rider. Um, and instructor and judge. Um, I think she still teaches Carl Hester. So I was very, it's very honored to have a lesson with her and she really helps. As you can hear and see, it was blowing a gale this day. Um, and Brody was just, he was, he was so good, he's so rideable. He really tries hard for you. Um, you know, if you ask him to do it correctly, he really listens. Um, occasionally I confuse him with my aids, um, which is, you know, not great, but he works with me, not against me, which is good. Um, we're trying to do a bit of medium trot, which isn't his forte, but he can do it. He's a little monkey. He can do it when he's excited, but he doesn't give it to you freely.
Uh, I've left lots of this schooling in. It's probably a bit long-winded for you, but purely from a selfish point of view, I've really enjoyed watching it back and learning from it and remembering what she said. Now, um, we did quite a lot of work on the leg yield because she wanted it absolutely correct, um, which is, you know, what you have a lesson for. Um, this way, to the right, the leg yield was poor. I kept getting too much bend and she was getting me to ask and then go straight and then ask for a bit of medium trot um, just so he didn't expect to fall one way. Um, but yeah, I've just loved watching it back actually. Um, and he was he was really good. I was really pleased with how he worked. And again, we're doing the leg heel to the right, which did get better. I found it a lot easier to the left. And then we're doing shoulder in off the track, which is quite tricky. I mean, he's only six, he's, he's you know, and he was good. He, he really tries hard for you, Brody. And then I'm probably saying I'm exhausted at this point. And she's probably saying, get on with it. Um, but again, here we go, a little bit of leg yield. And then across in, in a bit of medium, it's not really medium, but lengthening strides. That was quite a good one for Brody. Um, as I say, it's not that he doesn't find it easy. He just doesn't give it to you. He can be super relaxed, which is good, but almost too relaxed. Um, and then at this point of the um, lesson, we'd stopped and had a chat, actually, and I talked to her about, you know, teaching him flying changes, and I wasn't confident in teaching them. And she said, well, before I even thought about it, I had to get my simple changes right. So walk to counter, counter to walk. Um, so we started working on that, which was not where we were expecting the lesson to go because we were obviously just going to ride through the test for Osberton, but it was really fascinating and I hadn't really done a lot. Um, and you'll see, I'm just starting off here. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going really croaky. Um, and it's not great. Um, but what's lovely is you're seeing this in real time now and how much better they get. And this is how quick Brody learns and how quick he listens to me. And that's why I've left a lot of this in, because I just found it fascinating. And as Trish said, she made a very good point that as folds you see them, they can go from halt to canter straight away, but you don't often see them going from canter to halt or canter to walk as a foal. So it's easy to teach them to go into canter from a walk it's much harder to teach them to go from canter to walk. Um, and I was delighted because Brody just picks things up very quickly, which is good for me. Not so good if I teach him bad habits because he obviously picks them up quickly. Um, but yeah, it was a really good exercise to do. And as I say, you can see it in real time. And... Oh, yeah, that wasn't so good. I was a little bit brutal with my hands there, if I'm being honest. Um, he wasn't really listening. Anyway, I've regrouped. Good boy, nice and canter. Let's see if my down was good. Oh, yes. Look at that. And that's, you know, that's within the space of about five minutes, um, how quickly he picks it up. So, yeah, I really enjoyed my lesson with her. As I say, she's quite punchy. She can be quite direct. That was good transition up, though. Look at that canter. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Mm, wasn't quite so good. Down. 
Yeah. Oh, so now we're doing left canter strike off on a straight line. So again, she said to work towards the flying changes, you've got to be able to canter on whichever leg you want whenever you want. Um, so not just cantering on the right leg when you're on the right rein, sometimes asking for left canter strike off. Um, so yes, yeah, so we worked on that. And she said I'd got to be able to do an elementary movement, which was canter to walk and canter strike off on the centre line, which we did. We did manage it. It wasn't terribly straight. I got too much left bend on the strike off. And then we go back to our circle. Oh, not so good downward. I was probably a little bit lazy in my leg, getting him down, probably didn't hold so much. Sit up, just in good girl, that's better. Good boy, not good girl, sorry. And then great, straight into right, cant off, canter strike off. So that was really good. Good boy. I was a bit slack coming down into that. So yeah, really enjoyed this lesson. Um, really worked Brody hard. Um, and we ironed out a few issues. Which, as you'll see when I do my test at Osberton, I didn't carry it through. I made some very silly errors, but you'll see that later on. But Brody was a superstar. Now we're starting to do a little bit of travail, which is effectively quarters in. Um, I got in a little bit of a pickle with this, but we did get there in the end. I was sort of working against myself, but we, as I say, we got there in the end. Well, uh, just school Brody. Some days you have a good schooling day. Some days you have a bad schooling day. I would say today was a bit mixed. Um, started off well and had a real blip in the middle where quite frankly he's wild um, and then he went well again so he finished well so that was good um, anyway I'm now going to move some show jumps got a lesson coming and then I am going to Ride Valley which should be um, that's my last one of the day and then I really want to sit down where I've got a lesson coming Now on the way back, had a good lesson, good run through the test, um, all's well. Hope he goes like that tomorrow, fingers crossed. I thought I'd look in my old event journal to see when was the last time I rode Osberton because I'm setting off today and it was 2002. It was a two star then which would be the equivalent of a three star now. And I'm on Clover Lane, who was Ned's mum. There's Ned. And um, he yeah, did a 67.2 dressage, 9.6, one show jump down. Came 29th. Very good girl, not good dressage. Although the scores were slightly different then, but it obviously wasn't very good. How are you doing, Super Grim? Action. It's red. I have just had another filming lesson. Put camera on a landscape. Then press record. Then press record. Cinematic is for close up work. Absolutely. It's, it makes me look like Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Say, Elizabeth, where are we going today? We are off to Osbiton. And I looked up. Uh, in my eventing journal when I last went to Osmerson. Do you know when it was? When? 2002. So 21, 21 years, years ago. ago. But it was a three star there. Well, what would have been, what, what, it was a two star, but that would, that is what now is a three star. I'm not going to ask you to explain the stars on the short and the long and the CCI and the ICE. Because, well, is it worth it? Not really. I mean, the, the, Tell us what this one is. This is a one star. CCI? So it's, it's meter, it, uh, or CIC? FEI one star. Mm. 
Okay. CCI. And we are approaching Newark. Yep. Um, the sun is shining. Yeah, we've had quite a good journey and it's travelling well. We're getting, we should get to the event in about half an hour, I think. It but was a little bit stressful with leaving. Well, I was. You were stressy, I wasn't. No. There's a storm coming. I, yeah, it's not coming yet. Um, and and this is a three day. It's due to hit at three twenty four. My dress size is at three twenty four. Don't you don't say that because I was watching the forecast this morning and oh, I, it's not horrid. it is a horrid storm coming in. Anyway, back to we'll, we we'll might talk about the storm when we see it later. Yes. Um, this is we're going on a three day camping. We are. We've got lots of supplies. Lorry's packed with nice nutritious food for both uh, ourselves and Brody. <laughs> oh she just has to go to is what? nothing it doesn't matter um, so we'll be there and we'll we'll sign out press the stop button and not Ooh, leave it that's running that's nice sorry um, and oops oh shit oops I have to say she's just quite a lot of overshooting of roundabouts um, but generally, we're having a very good journey. We just look the north, my favourite sign. Um, A1. <laughs> A1. The north. We're going north on the A1. Osbyton's near um, where? Worksop. Worksop. So probably about 20 minutes up here. Yeah, and then we're going to get him out, walk him around, sort out his stable. Plat him up. Plat him up and get myself ready. Excellent. See you in a moment. We're going backwards, having done another U-turn. I'm causing chaos. Causing chaos because we're yeah, a bit it's confused. I think it doesn't look like there's many horses in there at all. No, I know, but do we go in there or? I don't know. I don't know. Driving and pony club horse boxes. No, we're not that. We go straight on. Do I keep going that way? Yeah. Oh, you've got. You just keep going that way. I think so, but it should be on the right. Yeah, I think. There's another lorry coming. I know. That's. It can't be in there. She, she look. said, "Keep going. Don't go to the pony club or driving." Yeah. It should be on there. Yeah. Thank you. Told you so. She said, not Pony Club. Yes, but it, it says horse boxes. It and says then... Pony Club and driving horse boxes. Yeah, so let's have another look at the sponsors. <laughs> can, you say, can you say the third one correctly? Animal, animal Lintex. Yeah. Now, the one we're interested in because we'd really like one for next year. Wait, yeah. EcoVolts. EcoVolts electric bikes. Would you like to sponsor Justine Ward with a, with, bike, with a yes. bike for her next year's season? And if you want another one for me, Super Group. Standing in temporarily for Charlie. She doesn't say that, does All, all, all event, event traffic. traffic. Do you think it's in here? Yeah. Okay. Because that lorry's gone past and we'll come, come back. Um, feed events, as much as we love you already, signage a little confusing. Horse trail stables and day lorries. That sign should have been at the former junction. Cross country fences. Oh, where, oh where, no, where, where, that's where? the driving. Oh, what? They've got the driving championships. Oh my lord, we can watch that tomorrow on our well, day we, off. We've got to plant a horse up for that. Um, Why? Because Georgie's um, in the driving championships. Georgie? And Georgie, who whips in for us, and she she, she she doesn't plant very well, so she said, Could I plant the horse up? And I said, Yes. Oh, that's yeah. jolly nice of you. That, that's well, I'm jolly nice. <laughs> Mrs. Ford. Okay. Yeah, this will be a driving thing. What the hell are you meant to do in there? They'll go in and out. Oh, yeah, they go flat out. I'd love to have a go. I'd be the co-pilot. Should we take that up? No. 
here's some jumps. Oh, look. Jumps. That's sponsored by Gin. Seven, that's not mine. I don't know what mine is. What colour are you today? Well, I don't know. Stables. Can we see any more? Shoot. <laughs> Vehicle approaching. I can't film a mile of this. Oh, sorry, I'll turn it off. I've lost Super Grim. It's very exciting. I've got a hookup, which is very exciting for me. Anyway, it's starting to get a little bit nervous now. We've arrived. He's eating the grass before I put his shavings down. Hopefully we're next door to my next door neighbour at home, Jill. And then it'd be brilliant if Laura was there, but whether we could be that lucky. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you feeling? Just nervous. Why? Well, you know, just anticipation. Mm. Not nervous. No, you know, just. This is at this point that you just think I just want it to go well. Mm. And you're having to plat because Super Groom's injured. Sorry. Thought that you'd let me plat anyway. No, why not? Brody, stand still. Uh, Justine's got a little secret tip from Janice, which she's not she's going made, to share she's made with. My top. Flat stick up. So, there she is. Janice, why were we making the top flat stick up? So that if he... No, don't film it. <laughs> don't give the secrets away. That's what I said. <laughs> Just put it up. I haven't done it yet. Oh, they're going to argue now. Okay. Like that. And that does what, Janice? I'll do it when it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it makes us... Doesn't... So Justin wasn't answering her phone and I haven't got your oh, number shit, on my sorry. phone. I don't oh. miss call from you. Well, I... It, Did it go to voicemail? It went there, I didn't leave a message. Janice's super dressage diva, trainer of Justine, <laughs> who's thankfully come to assist, and she's also a fantastic groom, which I'm hopeless at. <laughs> this brings back, brings back memories. <laughs> Janice and I are arguing about the hoof oil. <laughs> Right, here we are. There's Justine warming up with Janice. Brody is very relaxed. Oops, there's the treat as ever. Here are the arenas. They're all nice coloured in there at the moment. Quite a few flags. Just hoping Storm Magnus is not coming. Look, lovely views everywhere. Big trees, beautiful parkland. Um, here we go. Brady's had a good journey. He's nice and relaxed. They're warming up. We've got hay nets. Hay nets. But we've managed to purchase them. And I heard Janice just say, ride through the test. Just ride through smoothly. And that's, yeah, it's fab. Off they go, the bells rung already. There are the long arena here. Lots of extra letters. An M, no, R, an F, no. All King Edward's horses can make big fences. A P is a new one. Here we go, here we go. So I'll talk you through it. Um, 
Yep, down the centre line. My halts aren't always the best. Nice trot though. I like that. Um, I was, of course, I don't have to halt going in. So I started off and I thought it started off quite nicely. Mm, nice circle. Then I have to do um, medium trot, which isn't his best. I thought this one was quite nice. Did show some. Um, I got reasonably good marks for it. Could have got better, but it could have been a better medium trot. Now there, if you see, I asked him to canter, which I shouldn't have done. Um, and quickly, now they said he broke, he didn't break. But unfortunately that affected that movement, then, then part of the next movement. And then here in a minute, I meant to canter. And you can see he, he doesn't listen. And normally his transitions are so good, but I think because I asked him to canter and then stopped him, he was just like, what the hell's going on, Mum? So I cocked up three movements, really. Um, and actually my marks, I got seven and a halves. And then in those movements that I cocked up, I got fours. So it really brought my score down. So I definitely let Brody down rather than the other way around. Um, my canter was nice. But again, I was probably in a little bit of a flat because I knew I'd made errors. So I was thinking about what was, what had happened rather than what was I should have been thinking about, which is what I was about to do. This is my second medium and it wasn't very good. It was a bit horrid. Although they were quite lenient in my marks. Holt, this was appalling. It was absolutely, and I got the giggles, I'm afraid to say, because it was so bad. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, free walk, long rain. Again, I got quite good marks. They said he could have stretched down more, which um, when I read it, I thought, oh, he stretched down beautifully. But then when I watched it back, I agreed with the judge. Um, it felt different on top. And then this is medium walk, which I liked. I thought this was a nice walk. Felt really good on top. And then I have to trot. down the centre line, and then this is my leg yield to the right, which we found very difficult. And actually, it was it was good. I had to go across and then go straight and across because otherwise I lost the shoulder. So whilst I didn't get um, a brilliant mark, I got a good mark. My cancer transition was quite nice. But it was as good as I could have hoped for at this stage. So I was pleased. I thought that was quite a nice circle. And then I do medium canter, and unfortunately, right where I get level with the judge at the centre, he slightly hollowed. Um, and then I have to do my stretching down, which he's very good at, bless him, he likes a stretch. Um, and they, they, I got good marks. They just said he could have taken his nose more forward, which actually, when you look 100%, he could have taken his nose more forward. So, yes, all in all, Brody was a star. I made some very silly errors. My last hold was very good. And unfortunately, that affected about five or six movements, um, which brought me down by about 10 marks. So I got a 35, so actually I could have got a 25, which was frustrating. But anyway, um, tough to bits with him. Oh, he's having his tea. Bed's all made. Haylidge. 
and water. What? He's inhaling <laughs> his food. Look at his nose. His nose. Don't tip it up. Don't tip it up. No. No. Literally, his nose is right in it. Nose is right in it. A Leatherman. Everybody should have a Leatherman because we've discovered we haven't got a sharp knife or a chopping board. And we didn't have any oil. So we're ad living. Which is fine. But for next season, we need a chopping board and a sharp knife. I have requested sharp knives for my Christmas present. And what else do we think? Did we think of? Oh my God, that's that is the bloody Amazon listens to you, doesn't it? Because or the internet does. Because I said to me about a sharp knife the other day, and I keep getting these messages about a sharp knife. Well, we'd like a little. It's washing. Little what? Little we, set. Little set. Mm. A lot of knives. Mm. By the way. I was thinking about... How do I do that? The sheep. The sheep or the sheep? And wondered why a sheep was called a sheep and a pig was called a pig and a cow was called a cow. Oh, well, that's too complicated. Yeah. Yes. Wonder why. Because it will either have something to do with a Latin name or... What's Latin for sheep? I've never got school at 16. <laughs> or it'll be something like... Moo cow. No, but it's not. Then it would be called Moo Bar Oink. <laughs> no. That's a bit deep for this time of the evening. Anyway, we're here. Justine's going to go to a rider's talk. Apparently, you're coming too. So we just thought we'd do a little bit of chopping, prepping. Yeah. Prepping. Tonight's Sushi. supper, very simple. Wagamama. What's it called? Wacky. What's it called? Wacky Soba? Yucky Soba. Yucky Soba. We're saving the... We're ad living because we've forgotten spring onions. Or oh, Maddie ate them. I know she got it mad. So, yeah. And we're saving the best meal for Charlie when we do our Thai green curry. On Friday night. Friday night. Yeah. So this will be... Life's the wrong way around. No. <laughs> Laura's getting ready for her dressage. There we are. So Hello, good. Justine. Good Hello. morning. Looking forward to going up the centre line, 60 metres of going straight. <laughs> He's looking very smart. Thank you very much. He's got nice dapples, hasn't he? He has got lovely dapples. Anyway, best of luck. I'm coming to watch. Thanks very much, then. Action. Oops. Action. I'm wearing my... Can you see? I, am. I don't know what you're wearing. Oh. Yeah. Marshall sad to me. I bet you're cosy in that. It is, it's lovely. I didn't get one. No, you didn't get one of these. Huh? No, don't mm. worry, I'll have a word. <laughs> <laughs> well, if if I'm here next season for the same job. Absolutely. Volunteering. Well yes. <laughs> yes. It's very important to stress that. <laughs> <laughs> what did we discover last night? I was worth? I think that's cheap. What? Fifty pounds a day. Fifty pounds a day? Oh, is that what Laura's paying? Mm. Yeah. No, I think that's I'm what... paying you that in, in, in Bijou. I think somebody else <laughs> said that, not Laura. Anyway, how are you feeling this morning? Having um, slept upon reflection? We haven't had a post dressage. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling better about it than I did yesterday. Um, so you got a 35 chip mark. Um, but it, it, yeah, I made a lot of errors. I made a lot of errors, not Brody. Now, why? Um, I don't know. I think I was, I slightly, if I didn't go wrong, I almost went wrong. And then that threw me for the next three moves, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, also threw him because I think he could feel like I was a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so there were lots of errors in lots of movements. So, and, and what's disappointing is it was actually a really nice test. I was going to say, if everyone watches it, I thought he looked amazing. Yeah, it was a very nice test, but the, the problem is each error was in each movement, so it would have knocked two marks off at least five movements. So that's ten points, so yeah. 35 should have been 25. Yes. That's what we're thinking. And that's what's frustrating. But anyway, it is what it is. I've just spoke to somebody who's walked the course, and he said fence four and six are very meaty. Ooh. So that's... that's um, are we going on the course, Wilk? We are. We're going on. A, no, I'm not going. On, no, I'm not going. Official on one. No, no, no. no. Um, so today we to is our day off. 
yeah, we're going to watch Laura's dressage and then I'm going to go for a hack. And then um, we'll have lunch and then I'll probably lunch him or, or he needs lots of grass. Okay. Oh. Okay. How, how well did you sleep? Good. I didn't sleep terribly well, but I never oh, do. No. We we need to come up with an alternative arrangement. Justine at the moment is up there. And it takes me about twenty minutes to get down because I'm so stiff. <laughs> she can't. You can't. We can't video it because I have to come down backwards, so all you can see is my giant in her pants. Coming, yeah, which... coming back. <laughs> but but is there any alternative? I mean, I got steps. I need steps. I got the uh, this section. But just fold down into double bed. Which is okay. Yeah. But is there a way of hanging, you were saying, hanging a hammock in the back or something? Now, I've seen things where you can hang them between the partitions that's a hammock, but the problem is I'd probably get in there and I'd never get out. Yeah, steps then. Steps. Or maybe a lift. Hoist. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. for next season, we need what? A hoist or steps? I think I need a mattress topper. And, Better mattress. And I need to limber up more. And maybe not have the table up there. Well, that would help. I was sleeping half on the table. Um, what else did I think? We need a sieve. We didn't have a sieve. Oh, a and we need a sharp knife. We've said and that. And a shaving sport would have helped. I've had to pinch somebody's. Oh, did we forget that? Yeah. List. Yeah. Better list. Yeah. But otherwise, everyone's, yeah. I'm pleased that Storm Angela, what was she called? Agnes. Agnes didn't come in big. No. No, it was windy, but that was it. Yeah, we didn't get wet. This would be quite miserable in the pissing rain. I mean, volunteering or not. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm actually good for nothing, because my arm's really sore. Actually, really, really sore. Coffee. FYI, it needs a little bit more coffee in it. And Justine said, um, my arm's quite swollen. It does, your elbow looks swollen. So I think, um, I can't muck out. I can't. I just did a little bit of housekeeping. That's good, that's good. Um, I can do coffee. I couldn't chop the veg. Supper. Not brilliant last night. I really liked it. I'd only I give ate, it... I ate every single little bit. I'd only give it five. Oh, no, I'd give it an eight. It was a wagamama. Tonight, are we going to have our Thai green? Oh, I thought we were having that on Friday. Okay, so tonight we're going to have... We're lots of people on Friday. We're, tonight we're going to have rice, aren't we? A rice and... Some veg. Stir fry. Right? Stir fry. Courgettes from the jardin. Lots of herbs from the jardin. And half a pepper. Half a pepper. Onion. Yeah, because Mushrooms. Like We've got the mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Does Charlie like mushrooms? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. When's Charlie coming? Friday. We need to have a shopping list for Charlie. Yes. Well, that, getting it to him is something else because there's no signal. Well, so far is, is a spanner for the gas. And uh, the recovery mash. Recovery mash. Produce. And we might need some more milk by then. Yeah. I might need more cigarettes by then. We might need more wine by then. <laughs> <laughs> no, because last night was our night off. That's it. Was, it. Yes. Yeah. Thank goodness we watching. Uh... Downton Abbey. Oh my God! I haven't watched that for years. Justine's never, never watched I've it. I've watched it. Um, um, we're binge watching it. I've downloaded. Well, it. I could watch that today while you go riding. All right, we're going to watch Laura, who's riding one of her two horses. Yeah, we need to go in a minute. At... I was going to look at what time it is to, on my what on my phone, but uh... I just realised you got. It's my friend Laura. I'm not going to video the whole test because I want to watch it, but I am going to video her coming down the centre line because, as. Laura said earlier, Leaving the arena, having 60 metres straight. One star competition, Amy Simpson and Northern Echo. The other one's not gone out yet. That's a bit speedy on the changeover. Yeah. It? It's a nice trot. Number 313 is our next competitor. We welcome to Osborne International Horse Trials, Laura Ali. Laura joins us with her own Kill Bunny SD. Bacon. Oh, 
Charlie's not here. Justine's actually having a little vacation. Never mind that. At least nothing's happened. Binge watching. Yeah, but why is it gone? that one. So, what's everyone at home doing? Uh, hand exercise today. Mm. Hand exercise day. We've just had breakfast. How many delicious. have you mucked up? One. As opposed to <laughs> eight. How today? many are you going to ride? One. <laughs> as opposed to... Eight. Actually, seven. Uh, um, it's now, what time is it? About eight o'clock? We're having a leisurely breakfast. No, it's ten to nine. Ten to nine. Ten to nine. Leisurely breakfast with down to Nabby. Yeah. A cup of coffee and then I'm going for a ride in a minute. I'm just waiting for Jill Mason to come. She's on uh, episode three of the morning. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a trolley. Remember, it? where was it? We wanted a trolley. Trolley. Festival trolley. Quite is good because our lorries are hook up. Right a long way from our stable. And the exercise field with gel. Trolley. Good afternoon. I know, this is, this is the day off. It's marvellous. <laughs> How are you feeling? I've got a little bit And it's what? It's Dan what? Dan Abbey. Episode what? Episode, oh, I don't, don't know. Yourself. Episode. Think of where we were a few months ago and smile. Mm. Quite agree. Don't know. Quite a few. Series 2, episode oh, 8. Oh, <laughs> Doing well. Yes. Yeah. It's now about quarter past three. She's still sitting there doing nothing. Oh yeah, I know. I got so caught up in everything. She's still I think I'm watching. Too I'm sorry. Down to that beat. Hang on. Hell, man. Thank you for watching. 
what? Why? I have no idea. Why? Does he still feel wild? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, I'm moving. I actually think I might get out of the way. There's quite a lot of horses. This is just a little half hour. They can bring them out and have a little jump if they want today because they've not uh, done anything today. They did their dressage yesterday, most of them. And there's Justine. Oh, he's a bit wild. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Your, video? your best, your yeah, action. So, first of all, uh, Laura is in first place in her section. She's on the same score as me in our section. And Jill's in eighth. Eight and can you explain day. how you three know each other? So all three of us were at Race Up Wallens at Power Grade. What year was that? Not oh gosh. Early 80s. 1988. 1987. No, it was earlier than that, I'm sorry. 87. 87. 87. Yes. When you were... Jill was head girl. I was about 85. Laura was a working pupil. She used to flit in and out whenever she fancied it. From university doing my degree and at the same time. I was uh, an employee. And how old were you all then? 16, 17? No, no I, I was 17. I was Oh, and have you all been going eventing since then? I was Jill's bridesmaid with Pippa. No <laughs> way! Yeah. Aww. And she's God, God, God mother. mother to the oh, Jill's youngest. youngest. Have you all been eventing since then? I had a ten year break. Yeah, I had a ten year break. Yeah. 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 Jill, you never really had, had a break. Mini break. Mini break. In breaks. between the children. She's had a gazillion of Jill's children. Jill's got four children. Yeah. yeah. And now, uh, the course today? Yeah. You're about to go walk the course? I'm about to go walk the course. It's very nice. It's the meeting at the beginning. From fence four to eight, it's big, and then it gets kinder. Anything you're going to rewalk specifically? All of it. All of it. <laughs> Not taking any chances. And then we're coming back and we're going to have, 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 have a wine. glass of wine. Yeah. Yes. Another glass of wine. And then another glass of wine. Yeah. Maybe some crisps. Yeah. Definitely some yeah. crisps. And uh, <laughs> wine. And then that, that's what we used to do at Parkway. And then we'd pick up dead rabbit heads on the stairs like we used to do. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Over and out. Off Over you go. Out, Which yeah. lorry shall I meet you in for the wine? Uh, well, I've, I don't know. We've got to go to Caroline's, sorry. What time at that? I don't know. Where's I just... Oh, uh, is she here? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, we'll go there for a drink. Yeah, we'll all go there for a drink. When you come back from... Yeah. <laughs> when you come back? Yeah, we'll come back and we'll get you and then we'll go. Very good. Yeah. Right then. Born walking. Adios. I'll go and prepare supper. Off they go, the three amigos. Laura is running her course. <laughs> and then we're, oh, I see, and then she has to miss that. Can you shut it? Can you shut I'm it? in, I'm in Caroline Casman's <laughs> lorry, and she's got a draw. Oh my God, look at this draw. It's, I wouldn't last five minutes in here. Look at the cigarettes. Oh my God, she's got, she's got, Oh, it's chocolate, Snickers. I'm coming in here. I want these. Where, where's where it gone? Do. I want peach rings. I mean, that sounds... That sounds yeah, wrong on every this, level. Like this What's this cupboard? Can you open that cupboard? This is just... There's nothing exciting in there. There's gin. Oh, there's gin. God, I like these drawers. They're bloody brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Have you yeah, just been and looked at her toilet? Yeah, yeah. I've paid for hookups. Of course, I've got the radiator yeah, on. That is. Is it hot? Yeah, I've put my towel on it after my shower. God, what now? Can you have a shower in there? Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Action! Oh, that's a night before cross country or dressage for Piggy. 
Uh, I'm here with Piggy and Caroline. And Piggy worked for me when she was 15. Was it, you, were, were you 15? I think you were, 15 um, or young. 16. Yeah. 15, 16, I think. Mum used to bring me to start with, and then once I could drive, I yeah. was driving, yeah. Yeah. And, and I introduced her to children. Yes, she didn't yeah. like children at the time. I, don't, I just can't believe you, you kept me for any length of time. Well, how long was I with you? You were horizontal. I can't remember, but I... I, 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 I do you know what I was on? Absolutely. No, I, I know for a fact... And right, I, I Caroline, may have taught you lots of things, but I, I know for a fact I taught you to put on a tail bandage. <laughs> because I remember saying something about a tail bandage and Can you, we said, still can't do the you said, what's that? Mummy does that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, this is how you put on a tail bandage. <laughs> do you not do pony club? Yeah, but... Yeah, but he, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't have to do all that shit, did you? I quite like going out hacking, hacking that. I'd like riding your ponies around the thing, but I was terrible. Yeah, Carol was good. Oh, was it then? Carol was good at mucking yeah, out. Yeah, she was great. She was good at mucking <laughs> out. She was great. But I did. Well, I do remember teaching you the tail bandage. And that's about um, it, I think, because I was busy having children. <laughs> you were yeah, thrown in at the deep which end. Which I'd rather. Uh, who picked the field and helped with your child? <laughs> what I you will, I will insert at this point. I will uh, insert the picture of. Piggy holding Tilly like that with a grimace on her uh, face. Piggy's now got children. I don't think as a child. 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 Yeah. yeah. One, Eight. One mistake. Blessing. Oh. Um, <laughs> seven years old. Yeah. yeah. So, and you're saying you're. Tilly oldest is now 25 years yeah, old. Yeah, so it's that long ago. It makes us, yeah, that long ago. Yeah, makes us really old. That long yes. ago. Yeah. 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 No, good old, good days. There were good days. Good days. There were good days. And I, I invented that chestnut thing. What was he called? The Lo bullet. Oh, no. Love Tells Boys. Love Tells Boys. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. From my mum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I took him to intermediate. And you took Dan to order to advanced. I, well, I, well, I, yeah, I, no, I got him up to advanced points and then you took him advanced. Okay. I didn't do an advance on him. Do you know the first time I ever rode him? So I didn't know this. You all the used to kind of switch horses. Him, I can't was, believe we're on the camera. He yeah. was three. You are on the it's camera, good. Caroline. Good. He was talk. three. Right. And I, I jumped to parallel uh, and he missed uh, it and got the pole wrapped right between his camera. legs and fell over. And we both fell over and he got up, shook himself and turned around and jumped the fence yeah. backwards. And I then said to Libby, this horse is special, I love him. Oh, yeah, he was amazing. that good. <laughs> Libby's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, anyway, can, can you days, take away the glare now? Because it's, I think it's I going to, to put shadows this under my chin. going to give a look for a cross country. What are you all doing tomorrow? I'm going cross country at 10.26. What class are you in? The uh, CCI One Star. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm going to dress up. It's not patronising at all, is it? We'll dress us, right? They all change. I don't know what all these Well, I don't know what you, what you say you don't know yeah. what it is. I don't know. I'm a fucking clue. The, yeah. Do you know the last time I yeah. came to Osberton was 21 years ago? Yeah, well, last time I saw your event, you were galloping around Burley to come third or something like that. <laughs> that, was like, that was a long time ago. <laughs> it's like, you're back again. You were probably in knickerbockers. So now I said to you the other day, Justine, what is the difference between all these CCI stars and CICs? Oh, who knows? Oh, I don't know. Who cares? There's no MERS. That sounds to me like mermaids. I mean, what is are MERS? What does it stand for? M-E-R-S. What does it stand for? No, I don't know. Do you know? You should know. Caroline? We should know. What does it stand for? Memory. Effort. No. Records, <laughs> senior. minimum, minimum entry, entry requirement yes. society. Oh, Caroline, yes. you're quiet on camera. I don't need to be. What are you doing tomorrow? She's not normally quiet. Plating up. What? Plating again. Plating and studying up Big Bird. Can For we, can, yeah. dress house. Yeah, can we switch off the light now? Could it's it's, it's yeah. casting shadows. Here's a good time, so in a venting field, yes. in, the, in the wagon, yeah. with the rain pissing down on the top. Yes. Um, Go girls. Drinking yes. your gin. Good luck mm. tomorrow, everyone. Yeah. Safe week. Happy week. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Happy phones. So sorry um, that's taken so long. It's only part one. I've, you've probably all tuned out hours ago. Anyway, next one should be a bit shorter. It's um, the cross-country and the show jumping. 
And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a comment, give me a like, follow me, um, subscribe to my channel and share it far and wide. Thank you. Bye.